In this video, let's see another ITJ problem which is based on the topic of determinants. The problem which we are going to take up was asked in the year 2013 main examination and the question says the value of k for which the system of equations, first equation is this and the second equation is this, has no solution is what? That means this question is based on the subtopic system of equations of the chapter of determinants. Now you know that when we deal with system of equations and we have something called as no solution, the condition is what? The condition after writing the heading solution is that you have to first calculate determinant of A. If determinant of A is equal to 0 and at the same time a joint A multiplied by B is not equal to 0, I say that I get a no solution to the given system of equations. Right? Now my task is to find out that A and then this. But what is that A? First let me know what is A. A is nothing but a matrix which is called as a coefficient matrix and that matrix will have the coefficients. What are the coefficients? For x the coefficient in the equation 1 is k plus 1. Here it is 8. Next is what? Next we have k and k plus 3. So let me write k and k plus 3. Now when you know the coefficient matrix, you can always write down what its determinant. Its determinant is simply calculated by cross multiplying, right? So it is k plus 1 into k plus 3 minus 8k, right? Let's solve it. It is k square. How are we going to solve it? We are going to multiply and simplify. So it is k square plus 4k plus 3 minus 8k, no doubt still now I believe. Then it is k square minus 4k, that is k square minus 4k plus 3. This is what? This is debt A and I believe that we know this condition that for no solution the determinant of A should be equal to 0. So let's put it equal to 0. After putting it equal to 0 we would be having two solutions because it is a quadratic equation you can go either by splitting the middle term or you can go by quadratic formula. It's better to go by what method suits you best, right? What method you have been practicing so far. Now I see that the sum and the product is known to me. The product of roots is 3. The sum is 4 here. So it has to be what? It has to be 4 by 1 which is 4. So it is possible when k is 3 and 1. There are two roots to this equation. You can always do by other methods whatever suits you but I go by simple product and sum of roots. You see the product of roots is c by a which is 3 into 1 is 3. The sum of roots is 4. This is done. The roots are taken. When the roots are taken, next task is to find adjoint A into B. Now what is adjoint A into B? I know my adjoint A is actually what? It is nothing but cofactor matrix transpose. This C is not coefficient but cofactor. Now what is cofactor matrix? You see that I have this given matrix and for a given matrix, finding cofactors is not difficult. Let's write down C11, C12, C21. C22, these are the cofactors, right? Now, C11, C11 means what? The cofactor of K plus 1. Cofactor of K plus 1 means ignore the first row, ignore the first column, you have K plus 3. C12, cofactor of first row, second column element, you have to ignore this, ignore this, you get K. And one more important thing, 1 plus 2 is 3 which is an odd number, so make it minus k. Then is C21, second row, first column, second row, first column means you have to ignore this, ignore this, you get 8. And 2 plus 1 is 3, again an odd number, so it is minus 8. Next is C22, C22 means again you have to calculate the cofactor of this. How to calculate? Ignore this, ignore this, you get k plus 1. So you are done with this. Finding the cofactors, cofactor matrix will be obtained. What will be the cofactor matrix like? It will be C11 which is k plus 3, then minus k, then minus 8, then k plus 1. But cofactor matrix is not our final story. Our final story ends when we actually calculate whole of this. 
So final story would end after finding cofactor transpose. Cofactors transpose will give me a joint. So I just write a joint A into B simply should not be equal to zero. What is my adjoint A? Adjoint A is cofactors transpose. Cofactors transpose. So it is what? It is k plus 3 minus 8 minus k, k plus 1. This is adjoint A. What is B? B is nothing but the constant matrix. Constant matrix. Constant is here 4k. Here the constant is 3k minus 1. So it is 4k and it is 3k minus 1 and this whole thing should not be equal to 0. Now what to do? This is 2 by 2 matrix. This is 2 rows 1 column matrix. So ultimately we have 2 by 1. Right? So this is first row and first column then second row and first column. k plus 3 into 4k. So it is k plus 3 into 4k minus 8 into 3k minus 1. So it is minus 8 into 3k minus 1. Then is what? Second row and that same column. So it is minus k into 4k which is what? Which is minus 4k square. Right? Let's make it more clear. And then again we have k plus 1 into 3k minus 1. So it is plus 3k minus 1 into k plus 1 and that whole thing should not be equal to 0. I am actually congesting it a bit so as to adjust you can always understand. Now what is it? It is basically simple multiplication 4k square plus 12k 4k square plus 12k minus 24k plus 8 minus 24k plus 8 minus 4k square. Now 4k square plus and minus both get cancelled and it is to actually note it is 3k into k which is 3k square. I again speak out that is 3k square then minus 1 into k again you can do or you can do this ways 3k into plus 1 is plus 3k right then minus k minus 1 not equal to 0. Next is what? Next is 12k minus 24k which is minus 12k. Right? Here it is plus 8 plus 3k square and everything. Now see again this is what? Plus 3k minus k. So plus 2k minus 12k plus 2k is minus 10k. Minus 10k. So everything in k is done. Let me delete it. Right? Plus 8 minus 1. Plus 8 minus 1 is plus 7 plus 3k square. So I write here 3k square, right? And it should not be equal to 0 at all. Now see which value out of these two values satisfies this condition of not equal to 0. When I put k is equal to 3 and k is equal to 1, let me put k is equal to 1 first. 3 minus 10 is minus 7, minus 7 plus 7 will make it 0. Putting k is equal to 1 is making it 0, but I want not 0. So that means k is equal to 3 should be there. Again let's check. 3 when put in the place of k, 3 square is 9, 9 3 is 27, 27 minus 30 minus 3 minus 3 plus 7 is plus 4 which is not equal to 0. So k is equal to 3 is my answer and the question asked what value of k. So the value of k is k is equal to 3.